Hey guys, Gian here of GadgetPhilippines.net. Here's something that you might want to take a look at. This is the Cubics Cube 2 and it will be out this November 11. If you're looking for a phone with good specs and price, we'll tell you about the price later. It may be the one that you're looking for. For starters, the Cubics Cube 2 still runs on Android KitKat, which may be a bummer for those who are after phones with Lollipop pre-installed. What takes inside the device is a 1.7 GHz octa-core processor, a Mali 450 MP GPU, and a 2 GB of RAM. All these stuff are built into a MediaTek 6592 SoC. What made me interested about the Cubis Cube 2 is the screen size as it has a 5.7 inch OGS IPS Full HD display. It's big and uh, supposedly good and pretty accurate at displaying colors and saturation. The screen is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 2. It has 16GB pre-installed internal memory, but it may not be expanded as it does not have a memory expansion slot. Its cameras are equally impressive as well. Its 8 megapixel front camera is uh, manufactured by Panasonic, while its 16 megapixel rear camera is manufactured by Sony. Both cameras have uh, PSI support. Price? Well, this is the most important and surprising part. It's just 4999 the trick here is that Cherry Mobile, Cubic's uh, mother company, will not be selling this on their retail shelves. So the only way to get this is via Lazada. Since it's launching on the 11th, as I mentioned, we highly encourage you to check on Lazada's deals on a set date. Again guys, this is Gian of GadgetPhilippines.net and this is your quick and first look at the Cubic's Cube 2.